My name is Suman Shah from VI Space Solution. Today's topic is asset retirement in fixed asset model. The asset is retired when it's it is no longer in service. For example, retire an asset that was stolen or lost or damaged. The asset can be retired fully or partially by way of cost or by way of uh, individual unit. So when you retire an asset, you can partially retire an asset. When you retire an asset by unit, the Oracle automatically calculates the fraction of the cost retired. When you retire an asset by cost, the, rem the unit remains the unchanged and the cost retired is spread evenly amongst the all the assignment lines. So asset retirement types are, as you know, the unit retirement and cost retirement. And source line retirement is also there. So we will quickly go through the flow from the asset workbench. Search asset retirement from the task panel, choose the asset book and query by number, tag or category. Select asset and retire by cost or unit or source line. Fill the relevant detail as per selected action and note that the depreciation has, has been processed in that period. So how to perform the task in application, we will navigate to the application now. Right now I am in vision application. Uh, through Springboard, I will select uh, fixed asset and asset my workbench. Task panel. I will search asset, inquire the asset. So my asset number is double one five three zero. Search it now. Depreciation, the asset has been added on December 21 and the depreciation has been calculated up to April 22. So the asset got retired on May 15. So how to perform that particular task? We will see. I will retire the asset by unit. So the total unit you can view. Here we are. The total unit, current unit is 15. So there is no retirement up till now. The 15 unit is there. Now I will retire one unit of, of this asset. That is computer network. How to perform that? Now, to task panel again. I will select retire asset. I will query by 12530. See the asset. Same asset is there. 15. So, done. I will retire the asset by unit. I select the retire unit. And retiring unit is say 1. 
under dying the unit one and I will provide the reason. The date of retirement, say it is on 20th. Yeah, 20th. If it, any cost of removal is there, you can write it down. Provide the reason. If you are selling that product, particular asset, you can write the uh, value out there. I am not selling anything, so I just retiring that asset. So I just provide the retirement reason and submit the same. Now I will calculate the depreciation. And I will create account. My name is open period now. I'm submitting the Is final. So, I can review the same through ESS page also. The processes. Get to ESS page. Under tools, schedule processes. Refresh. The same. Process is running. Now you can see the post journal is succeeded. Now we'll navigate to asset workbench now. Go select fixed asset as my map model and my asset workbench. I'll select and inquire the asset. And the asset number is double one two five three zero. First, we will go to assignment. Now, the current unit is 14. You can see it's previously it was 15, now it is 14, and the depreciation to April. My close period is already calculated. Now, the May period has been calculated with 14 units. Can view the transition also through transition. The partial retirement is in 20th May. I have done the. You can view the accounting also. Now you can see the event as retirement and the class is there. So the cost has been reduced. The depreciation has been calculated and been revised. So you will see the depreciation also, the periodic depreciation. Details.
Now you can see the financials also. So current cost is 204400. The original cost is 21900. And the net book value is 170333.35. The same I will explain in my Excel sheet. So this is my asset. This is my category. The total original unit is 15. Uh, entered date is 1st December 21. And service date is 1st December 21. And the de depreciation started in December. And I have calculated previously it was up to 30th April. Now I will change to 31st May. The balance unit remains 14 now after retirement. So, book value now is revised book value is 170333.35. So, it's out there. You can see. Uh, this way be able to retire the asset by a unit in application. That's it. Thank you.